Hey, hey, it's Tiana Christine, your yogi and tech coach. I want to share with you a question that came in from the Facebook group, and I want to go ahead and answer it right here. All right. This one is about MailChimp and Canva. So let's get into it. All right. This is a question that came in. It says, Hey ladies, I need some tech help. I connected Canva with MailChimp because I created a newsletter inside of Canva, but now can't seem to make the newsletter work inside of MailChimp. All right, this is some questions that definitely come up a lot. So I wanna be able to share kind of what maybe you might be going through and feel free uh, if you were the person who asked this question to go ahead and uh, reply to me inside of the Facebook group. So I want to make sure that I'm answering your question. So let's go ahead. I'm going to share my screen so that way you can see kind of what's going on here. And I want to first start off with the newsletter inside of Canva. So I'm just going to pick on a random newsletter. And we're going to go ahead and customize this template. Now, I'm not going to bore you with all the details of going in and setting everything up. I would highly, highly recommend if you are going to do anything inside of here that you actually create some type of hyperlink for it. So you can go right in here and you can create a link that's going to take you somewhere. Like, say, I'm going to put uh, my website. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. So that way it will actually link out to a website. So now that that link is here, it's going to, to my website. And then maybe I'll take this particular section and I'm gonna link this one to my YouTube, right? So that way uh, I can see if any of this actually works, right? And I'm going to uh, do my other YouTube channel, Yoga with Tiana. And then let's see, I'm gonna make the plant my YouTube channel that you see here. So let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and type YouTube correctly. All right. So let's see here what we have. So we have those links that are added. We've added some links. Again, I did not change any of the content. You would be adding content here and then you're gonna share this. Now, if you have MailChimp enabled in your Canva, you're able to share this in a different way. So you wanna go to more and then you're going to scroll down here to the MailChimp one. So you wanna send this to MailChimp. You wanna add it to a new folder, whatever folder you already have. I don't really use MailChimp anymore for my email. I typically use Flowdesk, and I'll tell you a little bit about that. But I want to show you what this looks like when you're sending it for MailChimp. So it's preparing the design. Boom, we're good. We want to view this in MailChimp. So now this is going to take me to my MailChimp page. I'm already logged in. These are a couple things that I've had from back in the day. We see now my uh, picture here, this newsletter. Now, just remember, once you create something in Canva, it's not going to come over cleanly in that nice format like you think it is. And that may be why you're having issues of why it's not coming through correctly. You have to go to campaigns. And then you want to go to cre create a campaign. So once you go to creating a campaign, it can be a regular email. You can design the email in whatever way you like, but just know that when we're gonna design this email, we're not gonna do the two and all the things. That's not what this, uh, <laughs> what this demo is all about. So I want to do sell products. I'm just going to pick something and I am using the free version of MailChimp. So you'll get to see this should be a feature that works for everybody. Once you get here where you have that photo, it says add photo here. That's where that photo from Canva is going to come in. So you're going to replace this one and you're going to choose this one that we just created and sent and you're going to put it inside. Now, this is where the part I am not sure because I haven't figured this one out. So we're going to figure it out together. Can you actually click some of these links? I don't know. Let's see. It doesn't seem like you're able to click the links, right? Because all of this is a blank photo, right? None of the links actually lifted off the page. So let's go back here to our actual design. And I want to share this 
but I want to copy the link. So that way we can see how this looks in a link form. So I'm going to paste this link. And now we get to see it. However, if we were to look at that link, it's still there. It's still here. It's still going to take you to my link. However, it's not going to do that in MailChimp. So let me show you probably the best way if even if you're going to do something in Canva, I would say create pictures in Canva and then add them here. If you're going to do a newsletter style, uh, I would say you're probably going to want this as a view only link and then you copy that link and then they're going to see your newsletter in a website design like this. And then from here, they're able to then click those links. So it's going to be a little bit different where you're not going to be able to pull that directly in from MailChimp and from Canva and take it to MailChimp. So I hope that helps you. Again, this is another link that, that I have here. Um, I created this link. Boom, that takes you to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can do all of those things, but you would have to make it as a view only link. People can see all your information, but it would be a one pager. That wouldn't really have anything to do with uh, Canva. I mean, with MailChimp itself, the only way that you, it would be best to make this something clickable is if you copy this link here, which I'm going to go back. This is the view only link. We're going to copy this link. We're going to go back over to our campaign builder in MailChimp and we're going to make this whole page one link. So if we make this whole page one link, we put in that Canva link. We want to go to advanced options so that it shows up into a new window. And then we want to say um, view newsletter. And this can be, you know, just whatever the title is, right? We want to preview this. Preview this email. So then once you get here and you highlight over it, once you click this page, it's going to then pop up that same clickable link. So that's another option that you have. Again, the newsletters look really nice in Canva, but they're really just a flat page. I would say it would probably be best if you're going to use MailChimp to really be able to use a lot of the features that's already here inside of MailChimp. And you can use this as a guide and then be able to move some things around inside of the campaign builder that's here inside of, uh, inside of MailChimp. Hope this helps. I hope that you're able to get a little bit more insight on how to use Canva with MailChimp and all of the same. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can reach out within my um, Facebook group as well. And again, I am here for you for anything that you need. Feel free to reach out. I'm going to go ahead and put my um, share on here. Let's see where it is. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, I don't have my little pop up here, um, but anyway, make sure that you go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. All right. <laughs> Peace.